Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86. Of all the turntables of this sort of similar family, the 1x1's Lucenia has got to be the cake taker. I'm excited to tell you why in this video while also discussing the basics of the, you'll find this in most of these turntables that bear striking or similar resemblances to this one. It's definitely an improvement over all of the family of the thin plinth four point contact all in one solution turntables that look like this. Setup was super simple with this one. A thin acrylic layer covers the top of the plinth and itself is covered by a protective labeled layer. Remove that. Place the belt over the motor and the platter wheel, then place the 10 inch iron platter on top of the platter wheel, and then you're already nearly there. Next, locate your weight. Now I want to make a quick note, this is a uniquely different weight from what we usually see with ones like this. Uh, it's definitely an improved quality weight, and it weighs in at about 68 grams, by my scale anyways. The tone arm has a label of the potentially ideal placement of this weight, however I found this to be inaccurate on my Lucenia, where it should apply approximately 2.5 gram force for the ATN 3600L that I'm using on it, which is what comes with it. When I weighed the pressure force, that marker actually applied closer to four gram force. So use caution here. On mine, I slipped it back closer to the two gram force marker and that got me closer to the ideal gram force for the 3600L. Next, I took the hinges and placed them on the acrylic dust cover and very easily affixed it to the turntable itself. And yeah, that was pretty much it. That's pretty easy peasy. Lucinia sits on a four point contact with rubber vibration absorbing feet, two in the front and two in the rear. On the back side, we have a ground line, left, right, RCA, a toggle to go from line to phono. Speaking of which, the built-in preamp is fairly decent to my ears, and it's probably the very pretty basic Texas instrument preamp we've come to expect from ones that look like this. It sounds great to me. And next to the toggle is going to be the USB Type-B for going to your PC. If you have any interest in ripping audio from your vinyl, this is the way to do it. I don't personally, so I don't cover that with these ones, but it's one of those ones that is capable of taking your vinyl analog music and turning it digital, if that's something that interests you. The DC input is to the right of the USB type B, and then what really sets this turntable apart for me, which makes it really interesting and awesome, is the 33 and 45 pitch control adjustment options. It's just something you don't see anymore. I was just talking about this with a longtime viewer, Jake. Lucenia has the option to adjust the pitch built into the turntable, which is just pretty cool. So if you don't feel like it's going fast, enough or if you feel like it's going too fast you can adjust that here all right finishing up on the back side the far far right is the power toggle switch to actually activate power to the turntable moving back around to the right of the tone arm are three knobs the top knob is to swap between line and bluetooth the middle is to select speeds 33 or 45 and the bottom is to play pause which stops and starts the platter the tone arm is a single shaft fixed head design but you can swap cartridges on it fairly easily should you decide to look for upgrades in the future or simply just need to replace the existing atn 3600l cartridge so what's the the purpose of the acrylic. Ideally, to my understanding, it can impact sound quality, but despite my efforts to discern any, well, discernible difference in practice, I guess my ears just aren't built for this. Because I cannot tell you that acrylic platters or plinth covers actually change anything on the same scale difference as needles do or as uh, hertz rating on, on vinyl weights. So I'll continue to raise an eyebrow and nod agreeably and suspiciously at people that tell me they can hear a difference. Let's do some quick and easy samples. I'll be hooking it up to my active Bestus and SRO4F speakers using line in from the Lucenia direct to them. I'll play a favorite sample of mine called Birthday from an artist named Liquid with his permission on a 180 gram lathe cut custom. And then I'll be playing Crush the Moon on a pressed record from your lad also with their permission to give you a recorded sampling of two types of music and two types of vinyl. Now it is recorded over a microphone to be played back over your own listening device, but hopefully it will give you some sort of idea or give you some sort of expectation answer. <laughs> I like this one, big time. Kind of surprised. I expected something I had already seen a few times over with just a new coat of paint, so to speak. As a note, the play pause knob on top seems to replace the need to have to give the turntable a reach around in order to restart the power to it. That's a very happy thing for me to not have to reach all the way behind the plinth in order to power it off and back on just to get it going again. I hope this was somewhat helpful and useful to you guys. You guys have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that I do.